Hello everyone, it's Diego Doom here, today I'm bringing you another review. Today I'll be reviewing Sentinel Real Bone Conti Green. Conti Green comes from the 2000 show, Fully Cooley. Conti is the first robot to emerge from Naoto's head. Conti is a medical robot manufactured by Medical Machina. Conti exhibits very human-like emotions, but in times of danger, Conti can transform and battle various entities. Be sure to check out the 2000 show Fully Cooley, it's simply fantastic, but nonetheless, Sentinel Real Bone Conti Green is another fantastic release in the Real Bone line. Conti Green has a fantastic sculpt, fantastic panel applications, fantastic accessories, and a fantastic range of articulation. So first take a look at Conti Green's accessories. Conti Green comes with a pair of open hands, a pair of chopping hands, a pair of relaxed hands, one individual hand, one baseball glove, one box, one shotgun, one scarf, one pair of sunglasses, one cloak, one jacket, one pair of wings, one halo, one takun, and one stand. So first let's take a look at the open hands. The open hands have a fantastic sculpt with fantastic paint going on. Very nice clean and crisp paint going on here. Definitely very cool. Very nice olive color for the inner palm. Very nice deep blue for the outside. Absolutely fantastic. Next we have the chopping hands. We have the same great sculpt and same great paint going on. Definitely very cool here. Next we have the relaxed hands. We have the same great sculpt and same great paint going on. Absolutely fantastic. Next we have the individual hand, so first and foremost, same great sculpt and same great pants going on. This hand is meant to represent when Conti scratches his head in confusion, so to attach this we'll grab our figure, pull off the fist here, expose a very nice long peg here, we'll kind of focus all this, and we just push that in like so, have a nice range of movement and rotation, and now Conti is a little bit confused, so this is definitely very cool here, very nice. The next accessory is the baseball glove. The baseball glove has a fantastic sculpt, a fantastic pants going on, a very nice glossy brown here, very nicely detailed, all the stitching here is very nicely done, absolutely fantastic. To attach this, we'll grab our figure out again, pop off the other fist, expose the peg, put on our new hand, and now Conti is ready to play ball. So this is definitely very cool here. Very nice. So the next accessory is the box. The box has a fantastic sculpt, a fantastic pants going on. Very nicely detailed here. Very nice paint apps indeed. Very nicely done. Absolutely fantastic. To attach this, we'll grab our figure. So, this box slides over Conti's antenna, so we'll just push this right on like so. Also, this box is made out of soft material, so no worry about breaking anything. So, very nicely done there. So now, pushes in all the way. Conti is a bit self-conscious, so this is definitely very cool here. Yank this right on off. Kind of bear with me here. Very nicely done there. So, next is the shotgun. The shotgun has a fantastic sculpt, a fantastic pants going on. Very nice clean paint apps going on here. Very nice detail. Absolutely fantastic. Also, this hand is molded to the shotgun. It's definitely very cool. Very nice detail indeed. Also, you can actually cock this shotgun, so pretty cool there. To attach this again, pull our hand off, put it through the peg, and that's it. So, very nicely done there. So, pretty cool. So, this is the beginning of a very nice getup. So, let's take a look at the cloak here. The cloak is very nicely done here. Absolutely fantastic sculpt of paint apps going on. Very nice tattered edges. So Definitely very cool. So, to attach this, this comes in two different pieces. So, first, for the first piece, we'll grab our figure, pop off the head here, then we'll put on this bib part here. Latches on like so. So, pretty simple there. Grab the outer piece here, put that over top as well. That's it there. Kind of focus all this. Then we'll grab our head yet again. Put that right back on. And we'll see if we can get this on the first try. This ball joint peg moves around a whole lot. So kind of bear with me if I get this on the first try. So we'll just peg it in. And that's it. So pretty cool there. So we have the beginning. We're not done yet. So next we'll look at the scarf here. The scarf has fantastic sculpt. A fantastic pants going on. Very nice detail. A very nice vibrant red. So definitely very cool. So... To attach the scarf here, we push this into Conti's grill, so we'll put that on like so, and that's it there, whoops, sorry that's all out of focus, we'll kind of get that there, so we'll push this all into place, like so, and that's it, so pretty cool, we're still not done, finally we have the sunglasses here, very nicely done here, an absolutely fantastic sculpt, very nice translucent material going on here. Definitely very cool to attach this. This clips onto the face, so we'll just kind of push those on there like so, and they kind of clip themselves together. Now, Conti is ready to commit a robbery, an armed robbery. So this is definitely very cool here. This is absolutely fantastic. Very nice. So, 
Give me one moment to disassemble Conti and we'll look at the rest of the accessories. Moving forward, the next accessory is the jacket. The jacket has a fantastic sculpt, a fantastic pamp swing on. Definitely very cool here. You'll notice the jacket is in three different pieces, so let's focus on the center portion here. So, we'll drop the sleeves out. As you can see, very nicely detailed here. Very nice pockets and zippers going on. Absolutely fantastic. For the sleeves, same great sculpt and same great pamp swing on. Definitely very cool. Very nicely done here. Very nice. To attach all this, we'll grab our figure. What we have to do, we'll kind of focus all this first. We're gonna pop off the head, pop off the arms here, and we'll pop off the back panel. So, one to be aware of, when popping the arms off, you notice this ring kind of stays on there, make sure that's out of the shoulder, so pretty cool there. Grab the center portion of the jacket, slide it over top, so very nice there. We'll grab our sleeves, pop those into the shoulders, could be a little bit tough, so we'll get that in, like so. Grab our other shoulder, or excuse me, sleeve, Pop that in like that, and that's it. Whoops, this other one didn't go in. So you see, these ball joint pegs in the shoulders move around quite a bit, so do bear with me, because it can be a little tough to put these in, so we'll get that in. There we have that, so very nice. Next, we'll grab our forearms from our arms, pop these right on out like so. Push these into the sleeves, actually, so we'll get this in. And that's it, we'll get this all in focus, too, so. Pretty simple swap, grab our other arm here, get that forearm right on out. Put it into the sleeve here, and get that in, and that's it, so definitely very cool. We'll grab our head and pop it right back on, so we'll push this in like so, and there we have it. So now, Conti has a very nice jacket, definitely very cool. Next is the stand. The stand is very nice and pretty basic, a very bland base here. At the top, the peg can actually be in two different positions, articulated, we'll kind of focus all this, so we can have it articulated, or pop this out, we can make it stationary, so pretty cool. Now, to attach this, we'll grab our figure, we can peg this into the back here, so all we have to do, push that right through the hole, and we'll get that in. And now we have a very nice, seamless and firm connection, so it's definitely very cool there. We'll pull this right on out. Next is the pair of wings. So, the wings here are absolutely fantastic. They're semi-translucent, so it's definitely very cool here. Very nice sculpt, very nice pants swing on. Definitely very cool. To attach this, we'll grab our figure out again. We might need to just go ahead and pop off this head, so we'll do that like so. We actually have to pop off the arms again, so we'll get those out. Get this one out. This is actually going to peg into the back of the figure. See this peg here in the center? So put that in as best we can, so we have that like so. Pretty cool there. Then we'll put our arms right back on, so... We'll do it like so. And again, this can be very tough, so bear with me. So we'll get that in. Nope. Very tough. Those pegs move around way too much, so we'll try yet again. As you can see, we'll push this in all the way. And just, it can be tough overall just because those pegs move around just way, way, way too much. So we have that one, and we'll grab the other one. And I'm not sure how secure, we'll kind of focus all this, our arm on our right is. So we'll have to maybe put that back in. So we'll push this one in first, get the left one. And that's it for right now. So pretty cool there. We'll grab our head here and reattach that. So very nice. Whoops. Now this peg spins around again. It's good to see all this so you know what we might encounter with this figure. So we'll focus all this. Pop that head right on in so very nice there definitely very cool next we have the halo here absolutely fantastic very nice translucent material going on definitely very cool very nicely sculpted here to attach this we'll grab our figure this pegs into the hole at the top of the antenna so we'll put that in like so and now conti has a very nice halo absolutely fantastic here definitely very cool then finally we have takun so Takun has a fantastic sculpt, a fantastic pants going on. Very nicely done. Definitely show accurate here. Very nice. Now this simply drapes over Conti's shoulders, so we'll put them on like so and move the head up and over and out the way. And that's it. So pretty cool there. Very nicely done. And this is absolutely fantastic. This figure has a ton of signature accessories, and they're all absolutely fantastic. Here, we'll put Takun back there. So... 
definitely very cool. So, let's take one moment to put Conti Green in a very nice flying pose. So now we have Conti Green in a very nice flying pose and it looks absolutely fantastic. One thing to note, when the wings are attached, you do not have access to the hole in the back of the figure for the stand. This means you will have to use an alternative means to put Conti Green in a very nice flying pose. Also, it would have been nice if the stand was more customized for Conti Green. Despite those two little nitpicks, what we have here is still very cool. So, now we have the accessories out of the way, let's go ahead and take a look at the Conti Green figure itself. Conti Green has a fantastic sculpt, fantastic panel applications, and a fantastic range of articulation. So first let's start with the head. We can look left, we can look right, very high up, very far down. We have to pull out the shoulder joint, 360 rotation for the arms, Arms come out 90 degrees, there's an entire arm swivel going on, very nice, double jointed elbows, there's a swivel in the elbows as well, the fists are on pegs so we can tilt and spin these freely, in the upper chest we can lean side to side, twist side to side and lean very far forwards, the upper chest cannot lean backwards, when leaning this figure forwards you'll notice on the back here, we'll kind of zoom in and focus this, there's a peg that becomes exposed, so when straighten this figure back up, make sure this peg goes underneath the upper chest so you don't break anything, so we'll tip that right back like so. For the lower waist here, we can twist side to side. For the legs, we have a very nice, full 360 rotation going on. The legs come out 90 degrees as well. Also, there's an upper thigh swivel, ever so slight, so very nice there. Very nice, double jointed knees. The feet can tilt and swivel. We have a very nice, hyper articulated Conti Green figure. In terms of sculpted paint apps, this figure is absolutely fantastic here. I really do feel this figure came straight from the manga and the anime. Very nice, clean and crisp paint apps, and the sculpt is true to form. So let's get real close here to the head here. We have very nice compound lens for the face. Absolutely fantastic. Very nice metallic orange for the sides of the face. Metallic silver also for the sides of the head. Very nicely sculpted antenna here for the upper chest here. Absolutely fantastic. Very clean and crisp paint apps going on. Very nicely detailed, very nice vibrant red, very nice vibrant yellow here. Absolutely fantastic here. An absolutely fantastic representation of Conti Green. This figure is simply stunning and I really can't get over how accurate this figure is. This is very nicely done. So, now we have the Conti Green figure out of the way, let's go ahead and conclude this review. To conclude the review, Sentinel Real Bone Conti Green is another fantastic release in the Real Bone line. Conti Green has a fantastic sculpt, fantastic paint applications, fantastic accessories, and a fantastic range of articulation. This figure is definitely very nice, very neat, and very cool. I highly recommend that everyone picks this figure up. Also, be sure to check out the 2000 show Fully Cooly, it is simply fantastic. This has been another review by Diego Doom, thank you very much for watching, and please stay tuned for more figure reviews. Like, comment, and subscribe.